How are you lovely people today? I was just going to prepare some bindi fry today. So this is what I'm going to use. Chop some okra, bindi, lady's finger, whatever you call it. Some, uh, some finely chopped onions and then spices. I'm using some curry leaves and uh, some cumin seeds, some chopped ginger garlic and uh, some red chilies and some slit green chilies and some ground nuts you can see and here i've taken some turmeric some roasted uh, cumin seeds some crushed red pepper and uh, punjabi garam masala and one more the last one is chetinad vegetable masala that's it for the ingredients let's move towards the preparation here i am heating my pan i already set it on high to heat and uh, now i'm adding one to two tablespoon of oil inside it we'll wait till the uh, oil is hot So the oil is hot right now. I'm just going to add some cumin seeds in, in it. I'll just make the red chilies and just drop them in. Wait for like a second or two. Then I'll drop the chopped garlic and the green chilies I'm going to add some chopped onions I'm just going to add the curry leaves right now. I'm just going to drop the peanuts right now. You can also do it in the beginning just before you, I added the uh, onions but I just forgot. I missed, missed that part. So I'm just going to drop it right now in the middle so that they also get roasted nicely. I'm just adding some salt. As per your, you can use it as per your taste. Let it cook for about three to four minutes until it starts browning a little I think, I think this is how I would like it so I'll, I'll stop and I'll take it out, out in a bowl Now I'm using the same pan to fry my okra uh, or bindi. Uh, there is a little leftover oil over there, so I'll, la I'll add a 
little more probably one tablespoon more and uh, I'll just put my cut okra cut and washed okra in it And just saute it till it's crispy and uh, brown for about four to five minutes. We need to let it cook. This is how it looks after two minutes of cooking. So I think I would give it three to four minutes more guys this is how it looks after four minutes of uh, frying on high on a high flame so yeah I think I'm happy with this and I'll just start adding the salt and the other spices to it now so I'm just adding some salt as per your taste you can add then I'll add some uh, turmeric a pinch of turmeric mix it and then I'll add some chili flakes red chili flakes this is an optional thing if you like it you can add it or else you can skip this step there is no hard and fast rule over here just adding some garam masala half a teaspoon and half a teaspoon of uh, vegetable chitna vegetable masala I'll just allow the raw masala to cook a little for a minute and then I'll take it out in a bowl that's it. Take it out in the same bowl in which you have put the roasted onions and uh, other stuff. And, and then just mix it. This is the bhindi fry. My husband just loves it. Easy to make and it takes hardly 20 to 25 minutes for me. So yeah, try it at your home and do let me know how guys bye. Enjoy